Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to part 42 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6. And uh, for the first time, we will start working on shopping cart process. And uh, now uh, see uh, during this uh, shopping cart process, uh, we will create cart table. We will create a cart table. We will create, and uh, we will also create one form. Add to cart form here. Uh, in which uh, we are going to add hidden fields and uh, like for product core, product name, and other hidden fields uh, that we are going to submit on this add to cart button, add to cart uh, submit button. We will click and then it will go to that cart table. And from that cart table, we will uh, then work on blade file and will display there and along with the card we uh, we can display multiple items there and uh, along with that uh, we will also uh, do uh, the quantity update feature there and along with that we will also work on coupon code functionality uh, in our shopping card uh, so many things we will do in our shopping card process and uh, now uh, let's begin with it and see uh, we will also use migration uh, this time for creating card table uh, so that uh, uh, that is recommended by laravel so that uh, sometime we will do manual uh, manually create table and sometime with migration so that you guys uh, uh, will get aware of migration as well and you can also use it in future uh, anytime if you want to use so in part 42 uh, we will uh, start working on Shopping cart process. Shopping cart process. And uh, first, uh, we will create a cart table. Cart table we will create for storing products uh, as a temporary because uh, those products we are going to delete when the order gets placed. So we will create cart table uh, and and uh, we'll make add to card add to card form add to card form in detail uh, page uh, so that we can add products to card uh, every time uh, when we click on add to card button on add to card button okay button okay so after clicking on this button it means like this if we are interested in this product we can first select a site and according if this site gets available like medium size is available then uh, with quantity like one quantity we want and then we'll click on add to cart and this product will display in a shopping cart like in most e-commerce sites uh, do this thing uh, this thing is essential uh, so that uh, it will be clear that you are going to buy this card. You can uh, add multiple items in card. So we can add the products in card like this. And uh, so first step is uh, create table, uh, create card table. Okay. Create card table uh, and uh, first of all we will create card table and this time we will use migration uh, for it for okay so this time we want to use migration so uh, so we want to create card table with migration. Okay. So we will search here in YouTube. Uh, okay. Uh, so for you uh, guys, create table, create table with migration. Okay. In I am searching here and see the first video you are going to see is our video that uh, you can uh, follow this video and 
you will learn that how to create table with migration see it's very easy if you will create the table from here you will just create the car table with some number of columns and you are going to add in few minutes it will be created but it will take some time but it is more secure uh, you can also use rollback commands and many more commands so means uh, and this is also recommended by laravel so uh, when the database is not available we can use uh, such kind of thing in our server okay so means uh, you must to uh, get aware of this thing as well even if you are you want to work on pc my admin that is not an issue but you must at least uh, be aware of this thing okay so see create table with migration it's laravel 5.6 migrations so means uh, just you need to follow and i am going to uh, just search and follow Hello, uh, migration Laravel migration series to learn how to create table with migration and uh, how to update table with migration and much more and many more commands like rollback that that are really helpful a full uh, at times when uh, when we go back to our earlier database in the db changes okay so so means uh, uh, we just need to follow this one you can follow and uh, you can follow then another uh, video as well a series you can follow this series by going uh, simply uh, here as well And I'm going to follow this. Uh, I'm going to start following this uh, again that I have created earlier on. Because see, uh, we was uh, we first of all uh, okay. First of all, we must uh, know uh, uh, that table. Uh, so uh, uh, so first of all. Uh, we must know the table uh, so we will create uh, the table with below columns okay so this must be we must first aware that which uh, columns we will make only then uh, we will create it there so uh, we will create id uh, with in data type okay see uh, here are the columns and here i am going to write its data type that we will use okay so so we will do like this uh, for, for a minute okay so, so, yeah. Yeah. So so this is the data type we're going to use. Don't think that uh, we will go too fast because if we will go too fast, we will lose. Uh, things in the way so we will go down slow and uh, we'll try to learn everything okay so id and another one is product id and we will use int here for as well and then we will do product name and oh, oh, 
pairs columns it is better okay now this one we will use air care 255 and then product code this is the air care 255 okay then product color and this is the wear care 255 or any uh, size okay in that the size is fixed so uh, it will create 191 that is not an issue okay so you can take as maximum 255 size where laravel will create 191 that not an issue for us by the fault okay so product color is here then size also we will create wear care okay and that is if i again then price and price will be create like double or float okay double we can take okay then uh, then is quantity quantity we will create with int and after that user mail that is required in future videos i will tell uh, the user uh, username we can say uh, that is required or we can even take user name that uh, we will see what we have taken here email okay fine yeah that is fine okay we will take user mail that's not an issue okay fine uh, so this one also we can take like 65 and search an id this one also we will take like where cash uh 255 okay so uh and of course uh, that character at in migration it will automatically create this one date time and the last one updated at that is time stamp okay like this okay this is the uh, our columns and data types we will use but with migration we will use this command p first of all uh, so first we will run below command to create migration file okay so this command we will uh, run run okay so i will create my uh, create car table like this so this command i am going to run okay see one more i will do here and i am going to run this command create car table so this get creator i will see create car table has come okay we will also open some other command like product because mo most of these things will match see most of the things will match here so see this one is automatically created so we need to fill the remaining id and time stamp means this thing and id it automatically created but this field we need to create ourselves okay so we will create these fields in the similar manner that we have created for create uh, product table in the beginning of the ecom series okay so we are going to see uh, this thing so here what we will do we are going to create now dollar table here uh, it will be integer like this uh, then product id product id like this okay so after that we will create that we create the next table again now the next one is product name okay so we will take string this time for product name okay so we will now take product name here product name okay so now the next one is product code so we will take product code now the string so we'll take product code okay see if like similar thing we are doing here like we have created for our 
products table we have created also created products table with the migration earlier on of ecom series see so same thing we are repeating again so also product color we will do okay so that also and uh, after product color we will do for size okay size also string so we will write here size and after size uh, what it is uh, after the size uh, color is also done size is also done then user email user email is also a oh, quantity quantity first quantity then we will take integer here as quantity like this then after that uh, we will take string once again for user email that field is required in future and session id also required uh, that we will also work uh, very soon so this one also we will take here as session id okay like this so make sure that all the columns that we have uh, created here are done product id is done product name is done product code is done product color is done size is done price price is missing size after size we will give price okay so this one we will add price here fine then quantity we will open again price is done quantity is done then user mail is done session id is done and that created updated ID in time twelve done so now this one is complete so uh, now we able to create uh, 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 this thing okay so so uh, now we have add all other columns with a data type to it we can take okay see this thing we have done so you have seen in video we are just following this step okay so um, see in video this uh, create card table file has been created now we will add all other columns with it after this step also we have done and after this step uh, we will now after adding all the columns uh, we will run php addition migrate command again to create card table okay very simple thing we are using okay we are just following up the step and very simply we able to create everything see now i am doing php addition migrate and that is done now we will see that the card table has been created or not yes it has been created the card table has come here with all the fields that we have done okay so now our card table has been created so uh, uh, it is fine so i am closing this one uh, and come on card table now card table uh, has been successfully Greater with all columns. Okay, so now our card table is uh, right. We are having, but now we will do more things. Uh, now in second step, uh, we are going to update uh, detail dot blade dot php file. Okay this file we are going to update okay and uh, uh, so we are going to uh, create this uh, uh, update this detail uh, blade file with the form with the add to card form now so we will update detail blade file with add to card form form where uh, we will pass uh, pass uh, product details product details is uh, to card table okay so this thing we are going to do and um, now see We will open it is 
Let file this plus motor file and here we can leave it here. So uh, we will send the data in input header fields as well. Uh, so this is the product details. We can simply yeah, this is the information. This thing is required. So we can do it here. We can create the form here. Here we can do like form, then name. We can take add to card. Okay. Now we can take add to card. Okay. And ID also we can take as add to card. Okay. Then we will also see that what kind of name we used to give. Um, for here we are not given. Uh, okay, now I'll show. Uh, so, uh, uh, here we can do it like think form. Form, uh, form we will also add to card form. Okay, because add to card might be uh, we can use this as another ID later on. So, we can add to card form. Then see action, action we will create uh, its route later on, the URL, mm, so we can create add cart route, okay, add cart, okay, so we can create this route, uh, this and now with this method, method we are you use, are going to use post of course, and also, don't forget to add CSRF field. CSRF field, we always get forget. I always get forget, and the issue comes later on. Okay, so uh, now this is the form, and this uh, is going to close. No, no, not the tag or what I'm doing. Okay. So, this oh, sorry, form again. Okay. Here yeah, we can close, but now what we will do, we will. Uh, make it one step forward yes this is my point so that we can close so here now here uh, we are going to add some input fields okay input type hidden so that we can pass uh, in the some of the information product information like product id first of the id and its value we will take its value here see here it will come in id but this, yeah and it will come id here like this we can take okay so like this we can simply do like this and you can just see many uh, fields we require here we required for name product name and product name yeah, here as well uh, required product name uh, product name is the variable that we are using so after that we require product code as well okay so for product code we will use product code and here as well we will use product code okay then see after product code we will need to use product color Product color, okay, and, and here as well, product color, okay. So, lastly, is the price, uh, and price we will take here price, okay. So, we'll see now product ID comes, name comes, product code comes, product color comes, price also comes, but price uh, will change. Uh, we will change it later on according to the size. We will change its price as well. Okay, so we have given it right now, but later on we will change it as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is not required. So we can move this thing, and now it is fine. See, this are uh, the fields. This one also not required. 
so these are the fields and after that now we will see uh, here that is fine side we are already taking and here is the quantity quantity we will take quantity we will uh, give its name as quantity here so u a n t i t y okay so quantity we have also done and uh, finally uh, we need to uh, create submit button and that is uh, the submit button uh, to cart uh, uh, see here it is yeah button type button here uh, we need to uh, create type equal to submit okay instead of button equal so that we can submit it and we will check the rest of the things are fine or not and everything seems to be perfect so uh, now we can continue so what we will do we will create now route add cart route and so so that uh, we can uh we go to its function function we will also create later on but first we will create a route uh get post route for add cart so that we can create add to cart function as well uh, to add the product in cart okay so in third step uh, what we will do we will uh, create a route okay create route here and uh, now we will create a route uh, get post route get post route in web.php file uh, uh, for add to card for add to card uh, so that uh, we can pass we can uh, pass uh, the form uh, to function form details details product details we can say product uh, details to function uh, to store in product cart table this time cart table okay so now we will create that route PHP. This is similar kind of route we will are going to create. So we can pick this route and we can simply up to detail page here. We can create uh, add to car route. Add to car route. Route. Okay. So here we can paste and we can here change add cart okay add cart we have taken there uh, with product controller our is the first controller and here it will come like add to cart okay so we are going to use this uh, so now uh, the fourth step create uh, add to cart function now create add to cart function in uh, press controller no. to get the product details and insert in in cart table. Okay, so now. One product controller. Yes, uh, I will create add to cart. I will create at the bottom. The last one here. Okay, public function add to cart. And then same thing again. Request dollar request like this and. Now, this one start function and now uh, see here dollar data dollar request 
file so here we can see first that data is coming up till here it's fine or not okay so we will do like this and our and here we see data is you can also do like this so first debug that data is fine or not i'm going to refresh this one and we'll see and no small size is available medium is available 1500 add to cart see its entry has come seven green t-shirt uh, this product code green what price is wrong price uh, it must be 1500 base price is going of the product but we will use 1500 so uh, one thing more we need to do here uh, we will update its ds okay so we will check from where we are updating its price okay that uh, jquery code we are going to update see first where from where we are doing this thing small c here it is get product price so we will go there and update get product price okay so see here we are getting yeah fine so we'll check get product price here uh, get product price uh, and we are using this get product price see here it is and this one uh, we are using in main.js you will see there get product price see here it is coming the price is coming here see the price is coming here so we are going to update this main.js we are going to update this jquery and here we need to uh, uh, mean insert this price uh, uh, there in price column okay update need to update that price uh, so that the 1500 price will display their updated price of attribute will display there okay so we are going to update uh, main dot js uh, uh, now update main dot js uh, file uh, so that uh, update uh, update select query jquery function in main dot js file so that uh, we can update uh, price uh, we can send we can send update uh, price of product attribute whenever whenever user tries to add product in cart okay so uh, what we will do here uh, we will simply assign the value to price is the id we have taken uh, we will take in fact uh, here id equal to price uh, okay so i am going to change this uh, price to I will value to here it's value okay very simple so it will be like this okay price uh, in price field we are going to insert its value so we will check again uh, we will go back yeah here and we'll see that a better price is coming there or not we will go to medium we'll see its price we get a better 1500 so we will see now 1500 price is going so a better price is going now we are updating the price uh, uh, in jquery function we are updating the price and assigning the value okay so uh, now uh, we have assigned uh, we have assigned uh, the updated uh, value of price okay uh, price uh, in price input field input field okay so now it is fine still here now see uh, now uh, we will update uh, 
update add to cart function once again uh, now we'll update add to cart function to finally insert uh, the uh, product details in cart okay so we will finally do this thing okay so here see it is fine so i am going to disable this thing at all so now i am going to insert finally uh, the uh, product details in card so what i will do I will simply do DB here, do this and yeah, yeah, table, table, and card will come this, and then we are going to insert. Okay, so in insert part we will going to insert uh, all the fields like product. ID, that ID, and that we are getting here one more time. That ID, and this, and now that name. That uh, uh, the red code code as well. Then so we just copy the speed up the task like this. And also, red code plus color is also there. in card table or not uh, yeah tv so here now step update headers uh, now add uh, use db now add use db Now refresh and we'll see. Oh, okay. Column zero. Undefined. 
que la propia se copió el Dingit from if you and she what is it if you is coming okay I'll go down right here and put id put name is the put up put name put code Sorry, we have to get a mistake here. Yes. Not for them, not color. That's why never copy paste the things. Mm. So, done and paying the price. Okay, so mm, this one just need to correct this. All these things, syntax error is also there. Check where it is. Oh, another issue. See, what silly mistakes I am doing. This is not a core PHP, and I am just making silly mistakes now. Uh, but don't do this at your end. Don't do at all. Undefined variable quality mask. What is this mask? I am just doing stupid things. So, complete query, not general error has come. User email. So, yeah. So, user email filter not exist. So, uh, we will create this empty and then for the data user. Email because this we will use that one. Okay, it will see what needs to be done for this field. So right now we can keep it as empty. User email. Yeah, we can keep it like empty. Okay. And also one more field session ID error will also come. So session ID also. Keep it empty right now. So I'm just gonna add in. Oh, the silly mistakes I do, so don't follow me for doing this silly mistakes at your end. Okay, do with perfection. So I'm going to refresh. Uh, see, either name does not have a default for this, uh, error is still coming. And actually, here we also need to fill this. So I'm going to put it again. Here is user email and session ID. So now it's done. Now we will check. See, our entry has come finally. Okay. See now, yeah, it's fine. Uh, side is coming. Uh, those side is coming with uh, medium uh, with uh, seven hyphen medium uh, yeah mm. and that is not an issue that we are using we can uh, get the size from that uh, we are doing for the purpose uh, let's see yeah so I, we are having here this medium and here what we are doing okay that's not an issue that we will use that particular size uh, so um, we can also remove this part from this side and see here
settings that I forgot that why we have done id hyphen size id hyphen size get work wise and id size we have taken and select that cm size okay then this one is coming here id size if id size is empty then it's return for that is fine otherwise variable id um, okay then in ajax we are passing this id size okay both and uh, then it is passing here we are passing here get plus size and see get plus size here then we are exploding and we are uh we are from id is now said okay okay that's why we are using so, so it's fine now we need to use that more things so what we can do we can now uh explode that thing again uh like we have done earlier here so we can explode again so that uh, we can uh is just add the uh, uh, medium size here uh, medium uh, load the pet id so what we can do we can explore this size okay size to the size here and here we can explore size arr like this dollar size arr and then after that uh, we can use here dollar size a r r uh, that give uh, one element okay yeah one like this okay now i am going to check again uh, this one i can make it empty okay and the operation empty I'm going to add it again. Let's see that this time uh, medium, okay, the price add to card, added. Now see, yes, uh, done fine. Seven green t shirt, red code, green size medium, 1501. Uh, see, all data is coming fine. Uh, color red, red, red is not coming. That is not an issue that we can see, but. Uh, everything else is coming perfectly so you know, uh we able to uh uh finally uh we able to add a product uh, in card uh so uh now uh, that's all for now so uh now we will work on we will integrate we will integrate shopping card blade file in next video yeah. stay tuned for next video thanks for watching much more we have done this time uh, we have created the table with magician we we have created this form uh, in uh, in detail bit file then we have inserted the data in uh, in our table that we have created so uh, much more so now see large we can also create large is not there so medium is only there so we can create uh, we can get the data uh, no attribute is here if we are having attribute then we can add that product as well sorry we don't have um, we never added i think attributes um, see it is having so this one we can add i'm going to add this then see ah uh, yeah it has been added to well what i did blue t-shirt enterprise so we able to add the details in our car table so uh, in the next video we are going to display these details 
in card shopping cart page okay so stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching have a nice time goodbye